Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast between Mouse, Hazu, and Goody here in the Zelnaga Caverns. This shoutcast is sponsored by Raptor. Go ahead and check out their website. I'm going to be trying to start doing something in a little bit um, with the friends that I have on Raptor. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me how to, um, let me pause the game for a second, how to play with me. And I think one, once or twice a week, um, I'm going to be just picking a random Raptor friend that I have and, you know, play a couple games. Maybe I'll do some 2v2s and 3v3s so more people can play with me and against me. Go ahead and check out Raptor. There is a link in the bottom of this, in the description of this video. All right, now that I keep on knocking my microphone, let's go ahead and get this game started. Once again, we have Goody spawning as the purple Terran over here in the south position. Meanwhile, we have Mouse Hasu spawning on the north side as the yellow Protoss. So it's going to be Protoss versus Terran. Now this is game one in a best of three series. The tournament director of, I think it's, um, uh, was it's competo-sports.de asked me if I could start casting these games. This is the finals in from a tournament that they recently had. So I said, you know what? Sure. Um, I'll go ahead and cast these games. Should be a pretty interesting matchup. And the, both of these players are very well-known German players. Now out here, we already have a probe moving out coming from, in from Mouse Hasu. So Mouse Hasu now doing some quick activation on these Zelnaga watchtowers to try to open up that line of sight. At least make this little mini-map a little bit more brighter as he already has this um, pylon down over here. Looks like he's going for a standard 13 gateway. Not going to be chrono boosting. Going to go ahead and throw down this gateway and then going to be chrono chrono boosting after this probe is done training just because it allows for the right amount of mineral training back over here scb is now coming off the line in order to deal with this probe here as this um, barracks i believe the scb no not he was not harassed so that and um, that one particular SCB was, scb was not harassed as we see a probe just continuing to fight back and forth that probe was trying to recharge his shield is he going to pull back yeah pulling back just in time so goody now for, is sending back another very low hit point scb to start mining again as a new SCV begins the chase. Back over here, we do have Goody moving out with one SCV and trying to do some scouting, make sure that there is no hidden tech, I guess. Yeah, he's coming over here, making sure there's no hidden tech or just trying to hide that in that position as we now have a Marine now being trained up at that barracks. Back over here, Mouse Hasu getting this pylon should be throwing down a cybernetics core is a little bit delayed shouldn't be that shouldn't make that much of a difference as the gateway is not producing any um, zealots just quite yet we do have a tech lab now being thrown down by goody and goody may be trying to go for um, more of a marauder play as he's only getting one gas he should be, should be throwing down some sort of supply depot in just a little bit if he's going for m more marauders if he does throw down another refinery he's going more for our tactics and what is this he has now a proxy barracks behind the brush here at the north side of the base so he's going into a two racks and should probably be getting the concussive shells in just a little bit as well so that was the reason for the delay in the supply depot he th went ahead and threw down a barracks over here should be able to throw down a tech lab as well and is getting that concussive shell so the things are going to be very very interesting as goody now we'll have to um, we'll be able to put a lot of pressure on on the zealot over here as these um, marauders are not going to take nearly as long to con complete back over here scv now no not making a way up the ramp as you see this tech lab now being thrown down over here we do have stalkers one marine one marauder now moving out a marauder now moving out over here concussive shell nearing completion and now this scv or this poor pro being forced to pull back as we also have one scv joining in on that fight this this barracks will be completed in just a second so the build time of our marauder is only 30 game seconds so marauders will be coming out in a hurry very smart not trying to run up this ramp over here this stalker has plenty of range a range of six so should be able to hit off into this distance didn't want to take any free damage there so now in comes three scvs as well not quite sure what the scvs are going to be doing perhaps trying to take some of that aggro fire as these units do auto attack there is only one gateway and that is a definite issue as hasu cannot be able to hold off and against an attack against one with one gateway against two barracks scv is now going to go ahead and go move up that ramp scv is charging taking a lot of that damage pulling back and forth one stalker but a lot of that damage has already been and received and Hasu now in a little bit of trouble as there are a fair amount of marauders marauders and marines now trying to push back and forth and yeah getting a couple quick hits there going after another zealot zealot very low on hit points now gonna get taken down there going after this pylon if once both of these pylons are gone they're gonna be bad probes now coming off the line but now we have five coming in we do have Lafie, a stargate over here trying to graviton beam and pick up those marauders but once that energy is gone things are gonna be looking very bad marauders now just moving around using those concussive cells now going 
after this stalker over here we do have a second gateway but still plenty of time to be trained up as more of these probes are getting taken down another stalker taken down once again and now we have four marauders continuing to push and hasu is forced to say gg wow what a great game or in a very short game here on the Zelnaga Caverns with some sort of proxy barracks and right behind the brush to the north side really limiting the time that these units are coming in. So also um, Hasu did not know about that proxy barracks otherwise he would have thrown down that second gateway earlier as opposed to trying to get an early stargate. That early stargate even though it did train up one phoenix if it had trained up a void ray instead may have um, changed the outcome of the game. You see that there are currently no marines in this whole entire fight here and really with now a void ray coming out with a void ray coming out these marauders would have had a much more difficult time as that void ray would have probably gotten up to almost full charge if not full charge taking down these marauders um thanks for watching thanks for listening stay tuned for game two in this best of three series between goody and mouse hasu i'm not 100 sure what the map was because i believe the name was in korean but yeah stay tuned for game two